Hey guys, in this video today we're going to look at a new feature in Flogo Enterprise 2.7. Um, basically, it's an easier way to upload extensions onto your Flogo Enterprise Studio. So in the past, anytime that you had to upload a, any type of extension, like an open source extension or etc., you would have to go to the extension, extensions tab and then actually have the zip file of the different files that were needed. So the actual activity and then, um, you know, the test file and different things like that. But now, what you can do is, you can still do that, but what you can do is you can actually just take it straight from the Git um, repository. And so there are a few things to keep in mind. Um, one, it has to be from a public repository, so you can't have this, you know, on you know, public or your private server, because there's no way for us to authenticate and access that. Two, when you enter the URL, you get rid of the HTTPS or the HTTP um, portion of it. So you guys, you notice here as the example, it just says github.com. There is no, you know, HTTPS, HTTP. It's similar to installing an actual trigger activity or things like that in Flogo open source. So I'm going to here as an example. This is um, a repository from one of my colleagues. And what I'm going to do is go to activity. And I'm going to choose one of these activities. So if you notice here, I already have this aggregate activity that I had uploaded and installed earlier. So it's there. So I'm not going to do that one. What I'm going to do is, let's say, uh, JWT. So that means, you know, this activity allows you to create or validate JWT tokens. Sounds like a pretty good activity and something that I'll use in my project. So what I'm going to do is actually just copy um, this URL that he has stated here, um, github.com, user repository, the actual, or his uh, username, the actual repository, and the activity. And this comes alongside with the, the go file, the JSON file, and the activity test.go file. So you go to upload, paste that into the GitHub URL, make sure you know it doesn't have any HTTP or HTTPS um, within there and just hit import. So what it'll do is that it'll actually will take that repository, it will clone it, and it'll actually install it um, within your um, Flow Enterprise container that's running either on, on your machine or wherever else you have running on it. And depending on the type of activity or the, the size of it, um, this could you know range in time of how long it'll take to actually install it. So in this case, we still see it as cloning, but let's just give it a few more seconds and it should be done. So now we see that it says uh, complete. Um, and it gives us, you know, some logs if you want to see through that. Hit done. And if you notice, this, um, if you actually go back into the video, you'll notice that all there was was a default um, type of extension tab. But now there's actually one for utility. So in this case, it wasn't installed within this default tab like the aggregate key was, but it was actually installed within the utility. And, you know, it's an easy way to actually go through this and to, you know, access it. So yeah, um, now you can just build an application and you can use this activity um, within that application itself. And you don't have to download or zip up anything and upload it. It's just a matter of just having the URL from GitHub um, from an open, the open source version that you might be using right now um, and getting that up and running onto the enterprise version uh, studio. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Um, simple, quick, easy, just a new feature that I wanted to highlight in Flow Enterprise 2.7, um, something really worth looking into and I'm using, taking advantage, especially if you are a Flow open source user. So it sort of gives you that seamless transition between the two. Feel free to check out the videos in the playlist. And if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a question or a comment down below. Thank you.